Hey guys, welcome back to Tony's Autos. In this video, I'll be showing you how to remove shortcut fires from computer and USB drive. Before we start, hurry up and check out the software just on this video. Let's get started. So there's actually three methods here that you could do to remove a certain uh, shortcut viruses. Now first method here that you could do is via your command prompt. So you want to go to search here, just type in CMD. Just go and right click on command prompt and click on run as administrator and answer yes requires further information. Now in here, you the first command that you want to run here is going to be del space asterisk space then dot ink. Now you can go and just uh, check our description. I'll be adding this in the description for easy access. But let's go and just add it in here and just press enter. Now it's going to say, are you sure? Just answer yes here and just press enter. Now it's going to start deleting uh, the uh, not exit or uh, the shortcut virus here. But once you've done that, the next thing you want to do is you want to run the following commands. Now let's go and copy this one. Just paste it in here and just basically paste it. Uh, enter, press enter. Now, once you have this or once you've run this, you should be good. But if this doesn't work for you, the next method that you want to do here is you want to edit your uh, registry editor. So you want to go to your search bar here. Just type in reg edit. Now, make sure it's actually or correctly spelled. So it's going to be reg edit registry editor. Let's go open it up. Click on yes, of course, for permission. And what we need to do is want to go and just go to the following folders. Now, you want to go to HK current user. You want to expand software and you want to go and scroll down a bit here and you want to look for Microsoft. Now under Microsoft, again, you want to scroll down a bit here and you want to look for Windows and you want to expand current version and under current version, you want to look for run. Now, once you press on run here, you should be able to see the following uh, apps. Now, what you need to do is you want to review this. Now, if you do see an app that you don't recognize, well, what, what I would suggest you try doing here is you want to make sure the name is, you're, you know what the name is. And also, if you click go to the right side here, it's going to basically expand it further. So, for example, Adobe Kara Synchronizer here is going to be for Adobe. Now, for EADM, this is for Electronic Arts. So, this is for the EA app that I use for downloading games. So, yeah, anything that you think is kind of sketchy, what you need to do is you want to you wanna go and just right-click on it and just choose the delete option here and just confirm a few things. And that should delete the .exe or the shortcut virus on your PC. But if that doesn't help, the final tool or the final thing that you can try doing here is by, uh, by, by, by downloading a specific app. So you want to go and just open up a browser here and search for the following. So uh, I would suggest you to just type in shortcut virus remover. And you want to go and just go to shortcut virus remover for Windows. Go ahead and open this up. Now in here, what we need to do is you want to go and just download the uh, remover itself. Click on download now. And from here, you want to go and click on, uh, or you want to go and click on download at the top left here. Now, if it doesn't start, you go and click on download now again. And from here, just wait for a while. Let's click on download now. Wait for a while. It might take a while, so go ahead and just wait for it. Now, it's going to say your download has started. Just wait for a while. And as you can see, you've just downloaded it. Let's go and just double click on it. And what you need to do is you want to go ahead and just basically uh, uh, take the .exe file anywhere in here. So let's just let's go and just drag it into our desktop. As you can see, here it is. Now what we need to do next is we want to go and close this folder. Double click on the .exe file here. Answer yes. Now from here, click on next. And you can go and choose whichever location you want to download this or you want to install this. But I'm going to keep this as is. Let's go and click on next. It's going to say this new directory doesn't exist. You want it to be created. So if that's the case, I would uh, suggest you to choose a different folder. Go and click on the T dot option here, and let's go and choose like this location here maybe. And uh, yeah, so I think this one is good enough. Let's go and click on OK, click on next, click on start, and in this case, it should now be installed into your PC. Let's go and click on the launch shortcut virus remover. But just in case, if you click on exit instead, you could just go ahead and just go to your desktop and it sh you should see the shortcut virus remover. Or you could just go to the short uh, the search bar here. Just, uh, just type in shortcut virus remover. But once you have it, double click on it and it should launch itself. Now you can go and just choose the drive letter for it. Like for example, uh, the drive letter is going to be A for mine. Click on clean virus. Answer yes if it requires further permission. Answer yes again. 
uh, it might take a while to answer yes to uh, the prompts that you are going to see uh, see here. But it's going to say virus removed successfully. You can go and click on OK, and you should be good. And that's about it. So if you found this video helpful, hit the like and subscribe button and watch our next video.